You wanted to reconsider a warrant out of, please tell me about it again. It was number 45. Oh, that's right. It was to transfer the infamous unassigned fund balance. Did they use that word in that? Okay. Infamous. Got it. Fund 21 balance to the general fund. <coughs> we voted on this last week, uh, 7 1 0. Right. Um, with 45 seconds worth of discussion and voting on that one, by the way, when we did this. So I think it may be worthy of giving it a few more minutes here. Um, so we're okay with reconsidering, right? Go ahead. Fun. Yeah. Mr. Ladd, I assume you want to speak on this. My concern is, is this was dedicated funds, which were a revenue stream to the beach from parking lot revenue prior to the town vote which eliminated that proportion extreme to the beach, the purpose of which was to fund utility improvements at the beach. Where it was dedicated for that purpose, I would rather see it stay in its current form and be used for that purpose rather than go into the general fund and assigned fund benefits. Thank you. Mr. Welsh, did uh, Mr. Ladd state the history accurately? I don't know that he did. I don't know that he didn't either. But that was the purpose for which the fund was created. Right. I attempted to get the town to vote to, in fact, spend that forty-one thousand dollars. The town voted no. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this money's been sitting there for a number of years. Uh, we've got to do something with it. I wanted to do street lighting with it, which is what it was there for. And the street lighting, all the underground wiring is present. Everything is there except setting the lights in place. And um, we did that on A and B Streets and part of C Street and part of Ash Ashworth Avenue. And the illumination is wonderful. It really provides better illumination. We eliminate all the street lights along those streets that we were paying a lot of money for because of high wattage. Uh, but the town voted to do nothing with that money. They voted to turn it down and we have to do something with it. So. Right. I have no, no other choice to provide something to done with it. Uh, the auditors a, have questioned why we're holding the money. Is this uh, in the hands of the trustees of the trust fund? This fund? No, I think it's in the hands of the treasurer, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it's in the hands of the treasurer. So yes. there's really no chance for much growth at all in terms of right. sitting there, growing well, at more all. More than that, the, the, the auditors are asking why we're holding the money and doing nothing with it. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's been held now for five or six years because with no, no mm -hmm. move. I think last year's. Uh, was last year we did the uh, the Warren article fail, wasn't it? Last year? It was it the year before. Year before. Two years, yeah. And wasn't that, didn't that get rhetorically caught up in the great decorative lighting yeah. Uh, debate? Yeah. yeah. And so I think that may oh, yeah. be a big part of the reason it failed was because of that. But that is, that's the year. Yeah, that yeah. may be. The, I'd just as soon see the street lighting erected because it saves the town a lot of money. I, I, would, I would suggest uh, that Port of Slackman rewrite this to, to put it up there just that way again this year. I don't think the, de the rhetoric on the decorative lighting is anything near what it was two years ago. Well, and plus the location is, is quite different than the real rhetoric which was generated on Lafayette Road. <coughs> so. The 41,000 won't even do one street. Well, That's part of the problem. Oh, so we, we well, had our, I originally requested they put 150,000 in, uh -huh. uh, or 100,000, I can't remember which. I think it was 100. It was yeah. 100, uh, along with the 41,000, and at least get two more streets done. Okay, so we've got too little money in to do anything with it, and it doesn't seem much will to put money in there to do anything with it, so we're kind of fixed between right. go, no go kind of scenario. Mr. LaBranche. The, um, I know that you've attempted to do something with this, and I know that it was a lot of, in, in, instead of safety is, is the word that should have been used instead of decorative. Um, but whatever the case, it was voted down. But my concern is this, is that, and, and I'm the one that voted not to recommend. Um, once, this, once this goes away, it's vanished, and that's it, it's gone. And there were, Skip Windermiller, yep, a number of years ago, worked really, really hard to get a Warren article that was approved by the town to take 20% of the parking fees and use it for infrastructure, mm -hmm. like the lights. Now, the, at the time, the <coughs> village district had an agreement with the town. 
the village district spent almost a half a million dollars. We had to go out and get a bond, and we, they were redoing the sidewalks, cementing them, the, the town sidewalks, and the village district paid for all that conduit underneath the sidewalks. And the, and the idea was that over a period of years that the streets, you know, the lights would be put up. That was kind of a, the, the agreement that was had. And then enter um, Charlie Preston, and he somehow changed something, and so the village district doesn't get that 20%. It ends up going to the, um, rec, to the rec department. Now, you know, it would be nice if perhaps there was a petition warrant article that said uh, maybe 15% could go to the rec department and only 5% to the, to the village district. Um, or leave this in there sort of as a bookmark, at least for this year. And that was why I voted no, because <coughs> I'm thinking that perhaps a petition warrant article from down at the beach or 25 people in this town to see if we could add a little more money to it. I don't, I'm not saying that we've got to spend $200,000 right away, but could we add to this a little bit perhaps and get to the point where we can do one full street? 41,000 might not do a street, it might do a three or four lights and who's, you know, you might have trouble even getting somebody that would come in to bother and waste their time doing it, but it's sort of a place marker right now. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's vanished completely and then that's my thinking, and that's, that's why I voted no. I didn't get a chance to speak because it was late, like it is now. Everybody was tired, and you know things went very quickly. But that was the reasoning behind it. Thank you very much. Fred, how much does, uh, to, to complete the project in its entirety, got, got a mount? I, I couldn't even begin to guess because this takes in the, the precinct, he's, he's correct, the precinct yeah. had gone out and floated a bond issue and they have put conduit in every new sidewalk and conduit splice boxes in every new sidewalk where every light was going to go. Right. For the entire length of the beach, that goes all the way down to Q Street. Yeah. That's a lot of conduit that's in those really? sidewalks. Yeah. And uh, we spent the better part of $150,000 just to do the first three streets plus a, a piece of uh, Ashworth Avenue. Mm. So to go all the way to Q Street's a lot of money. Oh, yeah. I so just couldn't 50, even guess about at 50,000 a street, I guess, maybe? Uh, pretty close to that at this okay. point. Maybe even be more because all those lines yeah. have to be tested, cleaned, blown yeah. out, and mm -hmm. so forth. Okay. Sidewalks have to be cut open in order yeah. to get to the slice boxes. There's a lot of work involved in that. So we, got we do have the plans for it. In fact, I've got to set right in my office. Yeah. So, I mean, this project as a total could actually reach seven figures over time, right? It could, okay. um, but that's sort of offset, in my opinion, by the fact that you have, and if you go down to A Street and B Street and C Street at this point, and, and Ashworth Avenue, and look at the difference in lighting between that and the other streets of the oh, beach, yeah. mm -hmm. it's night and day, so to speak, and that's yeah. not an exaggeration. Safe it really is daytime down there at nighttime. Uh, it, the crime rate just drops to nothing in those particular streets. We don't have problems down there anymore. There you go. You know, it's it's a safe area. And you don't have nighttime either. Well, that's true. We don't. <laughs> Nobody can get to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is a good investment for the town, and certainly the police department had indicated it was a good investment. Now, if we did all the streets down there, we'd look pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else wish to speak, I, uh, Mr. Lover? I, I think Mr. LaBranche is absolutely right on, and I'm glad he said what he did. I actually like his recommendation because if you remember when Skip started that, and you, I think you might have been a commissioner showing for that, that whole article came as a result, Fred, do you remember, it specifically state work with the town manager, public works director, and village precinct. Right. And so I almost want to leave what Steve says, and if we need to add to it, however we go about that, whether through a <coughs> precinct article adding to that, or maybe Regina bringing it back to Selectman. I, I think Stevens on the right track because this was unfinished business. Mm. And and I, I like what no, I really like the way you explain it. It makes more sense why I would vote the way you did now that I it, it brings back the memory now. So basically you're throwing a half a million dollars worth of bonding away. Right. That's the exactly the material that's in the sidewalks right. because you'll right. never use it. Yep. If you don't use it at some point in time, the material won't be usable. Right. No, I agree. 
Well, I mean, we can get rid of this fund and still do the work. I mean, the fund is necessary well, the, to the, do the, the work. The point is that the longer the, the conduit, which is a light plastic conduit, oh, yeah, remains exactly. in the sidewalks, mm -hmm. the harder that concrete's going to get, and sooner or later it's going to crush them mm -hmm. before we can get the wiring in. But if we leave the fund and just add to it so that fund still stays, we don't have to change any of the other wording. Mm -hmm. oh. Mr. Lab. Is it possible? Through uh, the selectman representative, this article could be withdrawn by the selectman. The selectman can do that if they wish. I'll have to bring up on Monday with the board. Would seem the easiest way to solve yes. the problem right. for tonight yep. and readdress it. And it's yeah. in a different format. So is, it, is that something I'm understanding the board wants to do? Is it, uh, request the selectman reconsider the existence of this article? Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. yes. I'm fine okay. with that. I just want to ask the town manager a question. Sure. You said the auditors noted this in their last audit? They've made notice of They didn't put it in the audit. They've made notice of the fact that they saw it. They want to know why it's nothing to be done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we should definitely, if, you know, the, I ask my board to see if they want to consider withdrawing this or whatever changes they might want to make. I think we also need to have the plan to do the work. I mean, this was this is a cleanup article the way I look right. at it. If there's no plan to do that project, why have the fund? So, you know, at the same time if we withdraw this, we should have something definite that's gonna happen going forward. Well, and like the town manager says, <coughs> you know, if we wait too long, what the precinct did probably will not be sufficient Three years anymore. ago, we put the warrant article in. We are using right. uh, uh, surplus funds at that point along with this money to try to get this started again to see if we can get it done over a period of years. Mm -hmm. uh, but the town voted no. So right. we, you need, we need to do something. It's a plan. It's there. There's a half a million dollars worth of conduit in the bloody sidewalks. It's just going to go to waste. And, but we don't use decorative lighting anymore. <laughs> well, we just call it safety lighting. Right? It's, it's not so much. Good idea. Pe yeah, people had a different idea of what it was called right. simply because that was the name of the fixture that went up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and somebody made a big deal out of that, like we were putting up something from the Taj Mahal, and mm -hmm. I guess that's really not what we're trying yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So do we want to re-vote on Please. this now? Um, well, if, if, if Regina can have them... We can do both. Oh, okay. Do we want to re-vote now? Yes. Okay. I think we should delay okay. the vote. Yeah, I, believe, I agree with Frank. Leave, leave the vote until after, after Monday the night. Decide. Well, there were two members that wanted to change their vote, and that's yeah. why we're doing a re-vote. Well, if those two members still want to do so, we can quickly take a vote and be done with it, still requesting the selectmen to reconsider. That's fine. Yeah. So let's vote, okay? Yeah. Mike, just one final. My thought would be, we, if we voted tonight to reject this, that could support selectmen's representatives argument to the Board of Selectmen as mm. to why it was rejected. That's right. right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Could we also, or somebody add to it, if you get 41000 <coughs> and you want to finish the street, maybe Fred could get how much money it would cost to finish the street no, no, so no, you no, could no, put no, a warrant article again to next year. Well, that'll be all part of the Selectmen's part. reconsideration. Right. Right. That's, I'm just throwing it out. Yeah. Yeah. So all question. those in favor of recommending this, please raise your hand. That's all, sir. all those opposed to recommending, please raise your hand. I'm getting uh, six opposed Wrong. and two abstaining, apparently. So I'm two Monday, abstaining. Yeah. Me and Regina. Oh, yes. We act as a team. Six, two. <laughs> Zero, six, two. Can I just, <laughs> this is 